Hey hackers, Blue Cosmo from CCS here and welcome back to the channel today. I want to talk to you guys for a second because a while back I did the Ethical Hacker Everyday Carry series, a four part series where we made an entire cybersecurity everyday carry that doesn't require a backpack. So you can easily bypass security checkpoints or anything like that. But you guys were like, Cosmo, we want a backpack. I was like, you know what? Sure. Plus, I also talked about a pink USB drive that you guys have been DMing me and bugging me about. So I will also cover what that is in this video as well. I may make a separate video to deep dive into it, but hopefully it will get the general point across. So let's jump into it. All right, hackers. So this is the Ethical Hacker EDC that you may already be familiar with from the four part series I did. If you didn't check that out, make sure you check it out because it was a really cool, really fun series. Um, but here we have the keychain, which basically consists of like a ID card holder to hold some of the hack five tools here. We have the shark jack, which is a network scanner, which is or a network hot plug. So you can run MAP scans on a network and some other cool stuff. We also have a USB rubber ducky that's running twin duck. So it works both as mass storage and a USB rubber ducky. The payload on this is to steal Wi-Fi passwords. And if you want to check that video, I will be in the cards and or the link in the description. As well as that, we have a just a general micro SD card adapter right there in the micro SD card. It's just some general payloads for some of the other Hack5 gear here. So in this kit, we have the Bash Bunny Mark 1, which is attached to this lanyard so you can easily kind of take it off and plug into whatever computers you need to. And basically it has a payload that steals web credentials off of Windows computers. That's a pretty cool payload. If you want to check that out, I will again have the playlist for the series in the cards or in the description. As well as that, we have a wallet right here. There's a screwdriver and the bits inside of the screwdriver are used to open any type of computer, phone, etc. And then in the actual pouch, we have some other few essentials. So I'll kind of cover some of the stuff in here. We have a portable charger and in the portable charger, we have a uh, wireless network adapter. Um, we also have some micro SD card holders for some of the payloads I've made in the past. In here, we also have a USB type C cord. Um, this is to charge the things like the shark jack as well as the actual portable charger itself. We have a gray USB drive. This USB drive is used to boot into Parrot Linux. Now this is the pink USB drive that I got a lot of questions about. The reason is because I mentioned a video that I deleted off of this channel using this USB drive. So this is basically a USB drive that has malware hidden on the drive and the folder that allows the malware to be run is a shortcut that will basically shortcut to the hidden malware. It's pretty cool. I'll definitely make a video off of it. I believe another hacking YouTuber covers something like this. We also have another micro USB to USB A adapter, USB C to USB A, USB A to USB C, and mass storage. One of the great things that this backpack serves is for social engineering engagements. It can be a backpack, a satchel, or even a briefcase to make sure that you look the part that you're trying to play. All right, hackers, so in this first pocket right here, I have some of the more essential type of needs for the rest of the bag. And you can see we have a little notebook in here just for some general note taking, as well as a, <laughs> as well as a laptop charger for the laptop that is in this bag. Up next, we have a micro SD card holder to hold micro SD cards for things like the USB rubber ducky, screen crab, or any of the other hack five tools that are in this bag. And then lastly, we have some of the information cards for the Hack5 gear. In this next pocket, we have basically just an Ethernet cord uh, to easily connect to the local area network or the LAN. And I also have this kit right here. And this kit is just some basic USB utilities. So these two front slots are for the USB rubber ducky. The USB rubber ducky is a hacking device used to inject keystrokes onto a target's computer. Basically, you have a keyboard that you can control on someone else's computer. Pretty cool. I have one in here and another one up here. Then we have the actual shell case for the USB rubber duckies. Then all the way down, we have just a mass storage white USB 
so I can tell the difference between the white one, which is mass storage, and the black ones, which are duckies. Um, on this other side, I have a USB drive again, it's four gigabytes, but it has a micro USB plug, so that way you can connect to Android devices. We have a micro SD card adapter for the USB rubber ducky. So we have another micro SD card adapter, um, which is for the micro SD card if you want to put it into a slot for a normal SD card. We have a micro USB to USB-A adapter and a USB-A to USB-C adapter. All right, hackers, so I actually forgot to take this out of the pocket, but this is the Bash Bunny Mark II, and it is one of the kings of the bad USB realm. It is a device that can emulate keyboard, serial, ethernet, um, human, human interface devices, all this other stuff. It's really cool, so definitely check it out. I have a ton of videos on it if you want to learn more about this device right here. So this is the bare essentials kit, and this isn't like the hacking essentials kit. This is literally the tech essentials kit. You guys can see that I have some you know, general essentials when it comes to powering some of my equipment, having portable chargers, the cords I need, anything like that. So on this left side, I have a plug with two USB-A ports so I can charge multiple devices at a time. I also have a port extender, I believe that's what, like an extension cord type of deal, but it's just all in one format. So I'm not having like this giant cable or anything like that. In here, I have a, I guess, a hub for USB-C and USB-A. There's an adapter at the end to allow you to use it on your MacBook or iPad or your Windows computer. Um, the ports on here consist of two USB-A ports, audio input and output, USB-C, micro SD card, SD card, and two HDMI ports. We also have Ethernet and VGA. So it's a really good adapter. So I'll definitely leave all the stuff that I showed throughout this video in the links in the description. On this other side, we have my portable charger with the USB rubber ducky sticker on it. It has two USB-A ports and a USB-C port, and it is a 8,000 milliamp battery. This is a lightning cord to charge your Apple devices like your iPhone. I also have a micro USB cord to charge any Android devices, USB-C cord to charge any like MacBooks or um, iPad type deals. I don't think you can charge an iP a MacBook with it, but even still. And we also have a mini USB cord as well. So this is my hardware toolkit. So the stove and like computers or iPhones or anything like that. So I'm gonna open up here and you can see we have quite a few, I guess, tools in here. I'll start on this side. So we have some tweezers and kind of some anchor clamp type things to hold iPhones open or anything like that. Over here, we have a pocket to hold a lot of stuff. So we have this cord right here. This cord is basically just to um, attach to a hard drive so you can read the information off of the hard drive. Here is a professional opening tool to actually open laptops and other devices. And then we have two little wedge pieces here to pry open other devices as well. On this side, we have a knife. We also have a ruler in here, a clamp. These aren't scissors, they're a clamp to hold stuff if you case of your soldering or anything like that. We also have spudgers in here, as well as some other metallic budget type deals. On the actual screwdriver case, there is a suction cup here when you're working on iPhones, and on it is a SIM tool. And then in this actual case right here is a screwdriver. Something really cool about the screwdriver is that it extends its length, so if you need to reach further into a computer, if you're working on like a PC or something, it's very helpful. And as you can see, there's a ton of bits for a bunch of things, even things like a SIM tool and things for opening iPhones, MacBooks, Windows computers, anything like that. All right, hackers, so this is the kit you guys have been waiting for, the one full of all the cool ethical hacking gear stuff, the one you've been waiting for the most. So in this front pocket, we have some USB extension cords to basically extend the length of your currently 
um, whatever USB device you're using. On it, we have the Hack 5 tag that comes with most of these ethical hacking kits. So in this first section, we have an HDMI cord. So this is going to be for the screen crab, which is right here. So this is the screen crab. It's a Hack 5 device that is used to capture screens. It's basically like a key locker for HDMI. Um, and I have this HDMI cord here, so that way you can actually use it to see what users are doing on their screens. I also have an extremely well-protected USB-C cord. It has a cover on one end and a cover on the other end. So um, I try to keep some of this stuff covered because a lot of this gear is very expensive and I wanted it to last as long as it can. In this section, we have the LAN turtle up here. The LAN turtle is a device that is used to basically get shells on computers. It acts as an ethernet adapter and um, it's actually a really cool device. In the middle, we have the Signal Owl. The Signal Owl is a signal intelligence attack platform. I haven't dove in too deep into this, but I definitely will in the near future. All right, hackers, so this is the key croc and the key croc is used to log keystrokes. It's a pretty simple Hack5 tool and it has a lot of cool features. In this section are more of the Wi-Fi based tools and some implants as well. We have the Plunderbug, which is a packet sniffer. It's a pretty cool device. It actually works with your Android phone. Um, they have a whole app for it as well. So it's pretty cool. Definitely a device you should check out. Um, this is just a standard um, Ethernet adapter. We have the Packet Squirrel, which is another type of packet sniffer with a lot more functionality. It has a lot of cool um, features I'm definitely going to dive into for tutorials. This is my alpha Wi-Fi adapter. Uh, these are the antennas for it right here and it is a dual band Wi-Fi adapter. So um, I believe it can go on like frequencies of 2.4 and 5 gigahertz and it's, uh, it's a pretty cool adapter. In this pocket are some little attachments for the adapter. There's a clip on the back so you can clip it onto your monitor or something like that and there also is a suction cup that you can put in here so if you have a wall or you know anything that suction cup can connect to you can put it on there as well in this top pocket we have the wi-fi pineapple nano so we have the cord for it the antennas and the actual wi-fi pineapple nano this is basically a um wi-fi auditing tool um but it's just a lot smaller than the other um versions of the wi-fi pineapple that are out there I also have this plug that faces flat and flush with the wall. So when you plug it in and face the antennas downward, you can have it be plugged in right against the wall and have it be behind the desk without anyone noticing. So it's a really cool and unique uh, tool to have. This is a cord for the Alpha wireless or Wi-Fi adapter. And then finally, we have the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark 7. So this is the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark 7. It is very similar to the Wi-Fi Pineapple Nano. The only difference is that it's bigger, better, and has a lot more power. It is currently the newest version out there and it has, again, a ton of cool features for Wi-Fi auditing. And I believe I made a tutorial for this as well as checking out the HTTP module for it. And I will be doing some cool tutorials for Evil Portal as well as making your own custom portals and things like that. So it's going to be really cool. So definitely make sure to subscribe and look out for future videos like that. All right guys, so this is my laptop that I use for all of my hacking productivity. Uh, this is a parent Linux operating system. I believe it is the 2020 version of parent Linux, um, but I've updated and upgraded it since. It is a custom image because I spent like an hour and a half customizing the hell out of this thing. I do have, oh, I think two videos of me customizing this thing and I did customize it again. So I will do an updated version of my parrot setup so that way you guys can get your computer set up the same way I do if you guys are trying to do that type of thing. All right, hackers, so that's gonna be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, um, going through all of my hacking gear and kind of giving you guys an idea of what I would typically carry on in engagement. Um, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy content like this. Let me know if you want to see anything else like this more gear more tutorials on specific types of gear whatever you guys want really so again that's going to be it make sure you leave a like subscribe leave a comment do the whole youtube algorithm thing and i will see you guys in the next one so stay happy stay positive and as always happy hacking